Do you ever catch your cat staring at you from across the room and wonder what you look like through their eyes? Do they know you're a human being? With a job and bills and a minor caffeine addiction? Or do they think you're just a big, dumb, bald cat? Do they see you as their boss? Do they think of you as a member of their family? Or are you just the guy who opens cans and cleans the litter box? In this video, we're going to plumb the depths of feline psychology to look at how your kitty might see you. But before we dive in, why not subscribe to our channel and join our feline loving community for more videos about how to understand and care for your kitty. Bigger cats? Do our cats even know we're human? For an insight into the feline mind, there's no better person to ask than an ethologist. Ethologists are people who study the psychology and behavior of animals, like cats. These scientists can't talk to their research subjects like a human psychologist can, but they can study how they react to various situations and look at their body language to figure out what they are thinking and feeling. Ethologists can tell us that, while our cats do recognize us, they don't necessarily see us as noticeably different from themselves. British expert John Bradshaw found in his research that, unlike dogs, cats don't change their social behavior significantly when interacting with their human pals. Everything your kitty does to show you some love, licking you, rubbing their head and body against you, purring, is also something they would do to another cat whose company they enjoy. So does that mean our cats just see us as bigger, hairless cats who can't meow? Not quite. One of the few social behaviors that cats do exhibit when interacting with humans that they don't often show when hanging out with their feline friends is the meow. While kittens will meow to get their mom's attention, cats who don't hang out with humans will usually grow out of it and move on to more mature forms of communication involving body language and scent signals. Cats who do hang out with humans, however, learn to keep up the meowing because it's the only way to get our attention. Unlike our pets, who will often learn at least a few human words, such as their name or treat, most humans find it too hard to learn more than the basics of feline communication. Essentially, when your cat meows to tell you it's time for dinner, they're using baby talk to make things easier to understand. On some level, they do understand that we're different. Another thing to consider is that humans, most of whom hopefully do understand the difference between a cat and a person, if you're having trouble, the cat is usually the one with the fur, also frequently use the same social skills we'd use to socialize with people to socialize with cats. We give them names. We talk to them. Some people even dress their kitties in clothes, although a lot of cats might consider that behavior antisocial. Maybe thinking each other like a member of their own species is one of the ways that cats and their pet parents aren't that different after all. Parents? You may call yourself a cat parent, but the term may be more accurate than you think. Many of the behaviors our cats exhibit when interacting with their humans are behaviors that they would have displayed as kittens when interacting with their moms. It makes a certain kind of sense from their perspective. Mother cats provide their babies with food. So do humans. Mother cats groom their babies to keep them clean and healthy. Humans do the same. Mother cats keep their babies warm, protect them from danger, and provide them with love and support. These are all things that a good cat parent should do for their pet. Is it any wonder that your kitty might start to think of themselves as your kid? We've already talked about meowing being a noise that kittens make, but did you know that a cat's meow has the same frequency as a crying human baby? This is why your kitty's cries for more food are so difficult to ignore. Your brain has naturally evolved to pay attention and respond to noises in that frequency, which makes it harder to block them out. Kneading, sometimes known as making biscuits, is another behavior that comes from kittenhood. These rhythmic, pressing motions that your cat makes when sitting on your lap are, weird as it may sound, the motions your cat would have made as a baby to get their mommy to produce milk. Your kitty doesn't expect you to start producing milk when they knead on your lap, but the motion is one they find comforting. You may notice them also doing it to their favorite soft toys, blankets, or sitting places. In 2019, researchers carried out an experiment on cats and their owners that had previously been done on dogs and their owners, and young human children and their parents. 
The cats and their humans spent two minutes in a room together while being observed by researchers through a camera. The humans were then asked to leave for two minutes and then return for another two minutes, all while the researchers observed. Much like the dogs and the babies who had been previously tested, most of the cats were shown to have a secure attachment style, where they became more stressed when their humans left the room and less stressed when they returned. This study offered proof, if any of us needed it, that our kitties rely on us for comfort and assurance, the same way human babies do their moms and dads. Colony Members Feral cats, particularly females, will often form colonies centered around a specific source of food or water. These colony kitties will not only coexist without getting on each other's nerves, but will often help each other out. Cats have been observed bringing prey they caught to colony members who are too sick or busy with newborn kittens to hunt for their own food. Some kitties will even babysit for each other. Rather than risk leaving her babies alone in the nest, the mom will pick them up and take them to another cat she trusts, who will look after them and maybe even nurse them until she comes back. Turns out sometimes even mother cats need some me time. Surprisingly, these behaviors have also been observed in domestic kitties towards their human friends, suggesting that our cats may see us as part of their own little colony. If you have a cat with outdoor access, for example, you've probably already had the experience of waking up in the morning to find a little present on your doormat. Gross as it may be to imagine it, your cat most likely expects you to eat the dead birds and rodents they leave out for you. They've noticed that you don't seem to be very good at catching your own. After all, whoever caught a mouse by standing on a chair and screaming, and assume you must need the help from a more experienced hunter like themselves. Babysitting also occurs between cats and humans, and works both ways. If you're caring for a kitty who just gave birth, you may find yourself with a litter of adorable kittens dumped in your lap one day. If this happens, take it as a sign of intense trust. Your feline friend won't leave her precious babies with just anyone to look after. Make sure you stay with them until she comes back. In return, many cats will also become protective of pet parents who are expecting a new baby of their own. Lots of owners report their kitties being extra cuddly during pregnancy, and some will even try to build nests for their owners to give birth in. Cats can also be protective once the baby is born. In 2015, a baby was found abandoned on the streets of the Russian city of Obninsk after a heroic cat named Masha alerted nearby humans by meowing until the baby was discovered. Rescuers said that the baby's survival on the chilly winter streets could be attributed to Masha cuddling up to him and using her body heat to keep him warm until help arrived. If you have a baby, your cat may try to help you look after them, although it's important that the two never be left unsupervised. Some cat parenting techniques like licking kittens clean aren't good for human babies. However your cat sees you, the most important thing is that you see them as part of your family and want them to love you and feel appreciated. Check out this video for advice on how to get your cat to love you as much as you love them.